Well, hey guys, gonna take a look at these LED bulbs. MR16 12 volt, 6 watt. Got them off of eBay. They ship out of Texas, but they come from China. They're just warehoused there. Neat thing about them is you can get, you know, select the color temperatures, different base styles, different wattages. Pretty neat, but are they any good? Well, they cost $2.39, at least the 6 watt MR16 12 volt version does. I wouldn't buy the line operated voltage ones. I just don't trust them with no certification. It could be dangerous. But I got these because I think I can mod them. Well, let's unpack this thing and see what it's all about. And before I forget, I got them from AM. NO222 on eBay. Okay. This is what you get here. It's a chip on board style LED. It's a fairly large heat sink, deeply fluted. That's a plastic lens. And the bi-pin base. 12 volts, of course. And it claims 6 watts. It is AC-DC compatible, so you can run it on 12 volts AC. It does say 12 to 24 volts. So, uh, obviously, there's a driver inside. I don't know if you can see that. It looks like there's six LED die in there. And they do look pretty small. Let's fire the thing up. Okay, I've hooked it up to my power supply. And uh, we'll crank it up here. Definitely has a driver. Because it comes up to brightness and as I turn the voltage up higher it does not get any more brighter it stays pretty level well it's not really that bright six watts I'd say it's more like a two watt LED camera doesn't really show it properly but it's it's not really that bright I got the 4000 Kelvin color temperature version and yeah they are pretty nice neutral white. I really like that. Okay well I hooked it up to the meters here and I got some measurements. It seems to kick into regulation around 11 volts. That's not that good because a 12 volt device you want it to stay in regulation down to below 10 volts. In fact, these bulbs here, they stay in regulation down to around 8 volts. And, well, it's not 6 watts or anywhere near that. So I took some measurements at 12 volts, 0.219 milliamps or amps, and got a output of, or a, uh, consumption of 2.63 watts. Also measured at 15 volts. That's as high as my meter could go with a single channel there. And I got 0.178 at 2.67 watts. So yeah, it regulates the output fairly well. Of course when you increase the voltage the current drops to keep the uh, consumption the same. But 6 watts? No, nope. like I said, it's more like a 2 watt LED. And even though it's measuring close to 3, you know, a little more than 2.5 watts, it's, eh, it doesn't seem to be quite that bright even. You know, even for a 3 watt LED. One thing that's kind of disconcerting to me is the tiny die they're using. I don't know if you can see that. 
Let me see if I can turn the voltage down. Very small die. Maybe like 50 milliamp type LED die. Well, the problem there is, you know, even at three or under three watts, they're going to be overdriven. And that means, number one, they're not going to be that efficient. Because when you drive an LED hard, the efficiency drops. And number two, they're not going to last that long. When you drive them hard, it does impact the life. Even though it's heat sinked pretty well, yeah, it's still going to impact the life. I did buy four of them and all the little LEDs inside were matched pretty well. Usually with Chinese stuff it's a mismatch. But, we'll open this thing up. It's got a plastic lens. And, uh, that just pops right out of there. There's the, uh, chip on board. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be screwed down. Well, there is nothing holding the chip on board LED to the heat sink. Just a glob of heat sink. You see that? Just squishes down. Typical Chinese. <laughs> and another thing typical with Chinese that everything just screws together. And there is the driver potted inside there. And um, they just twist the wires together like that. Put them through the hole. Solder them up. Well, I, I bought four of these, and we'll take a look at another driver. You know, they're all the same, but and uh, I'll get that out of there. And also going to try a little mod on the thing. That wasn't too bad to take apart. This is threaded, and it just screws right into that. And they just twist the wires up as you screw it down. And, uh, yeah, they did use plenty of thermal compound, but that was the only thing holding the LED down. Here's the driver. These are full-wave surface mount diodes for the, uh, I should say they're diodes for the full-wave bridge. And uh, there's the filter cap. Is that brand I see often? JWCO. And uh, there's a coil and probably a diode you see in the switch mode regulators. And that's a switch mode regulator IC. I don't know if you could see that number. Couldn't find anything on it. SC34063S. See if I can get in any closer, that's about it. Got the potting off as much as I could, but I didn't want to damage the board because I want to put it back together. Well, performed a little modification. I put a Cree CXA1304 COB in there. And they're both hooked up to the supply. And I'll do a quick brightness comparison. Here's the original one. Here's the Cree one. Well, the camera auto exposure certainly adjusts for it, but the Cree one absolutely destroys the original LED in brightness. Much brighter. So, these are actually a decent base for modding so I think I'll mod all of them with these Cree CXA chips I have a whole bunch of these things they're not very expensive either 
You can get them for like 250 or even less from DigiKey or Mouser. So you can get a nice bulb for uh, you know around five bucks. Well, that's it for this. Actually, not too bad for modding. Surprisingly, being a cheap Chinese product, free shipping. I mean, there's you, you get these things for two dollars and forty cents. There's no shipping charge. So heck, you know, why not? Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.